Hey folks, my name is Jordi from the YouTube channel Cinecom and welcome to Adobe's Learn from the Pro series. In this tutorial video, we're going to take a look at how the new track mat works inside After Effects and will create this fun weather intro animation. I have a beautiful drone shot of the Faroe Islands, which we're going to use as the background. Next up, I'm going to drag an ink drop clip into the comp. And as the name suggests, it's an ink drop in black and white. And the idea behind this is that we can use this as a mask to cut out a piece from the drone shots. And that can be done with track mats. In your timeline, right click on the columns and make sure that modes is active. That will reveal the track mat options and we can either use the drop down menu from the drone shot or we can use the pick whip to tell After Effects to use the ink drop as the track mat. By default, the mask is set at alpha. There is no transparent layer in the ink drop. So let's click on the icon to change that to Luma. And look at that, we're using the whites now to show the drone shots. Next to the Luma or Alpha toggles, we have an invert toggle as well, but that's not needed right now. Now, interesting is that the blacks are actually transparent. So let's duplicate the drone shot and disable the track mat for that layer. Now, to better see a difference, we can decrease the opacity of that bottom layer. So basically, we can put anything we want underneath or manipulate that shot further. All right, that's the basics of a track mat. Let's do some more fun things with that now. I'm gonna take the text tool and type in weather. The text is not that visible because of the detailed background, so I suggest you put something like a Gaussian blur on it, and then increase that a bunch to around 25. Now let's make that text write itself, which you can also do with a track mat. Without any layers selected, take the pen tool, and we're going to draw a shape over the letters. You wanna make sure that you disable fill for the shape and add a white stroke. Increase the thickness so that it covers the line of the letters. Then we can continue. Always think about how text is written, so don't just look at your shape as a path that needs to look good, it needs to make sense. Perhaps write down your word on a piece of paper to see for yourself how you start and end a letter. When done with that, jump into the shape properties and we're gonna click on add to enable the trim paths option. Expand that and this allows us to animate that line. So let's change the end value to zero. Create a keyframe, go forward in time, and change it to 100. We've now created a mask that we can also use to reveal the text. So for the text layer, take the Pick Whip tool and link it to that shape. And there we go. We've got ourselves a written text. Now the great thing about the new track mats is that you can place them anywhere in your comp. You don't need to be above your masked out layer anymore. So if you like, you can place them all on top for a better overview. All right, next up, I've got these three icons. Let's drag them into the comp and position them next to each other. Perhaps we want to scale them up a little bit. And since I want to keep them at equal scale, let's change that through the properties. Now, if you have all three layers selected, you can change the scale all at once. And since we're scaling a vector file, we're going to enable source to retain sharp edges. The idea now is to animate these so that they fly in. So with all three layers selected, hit P to show the position, then enable animation to set a keyframe for the current value. Then go back in time and push the text down. This will animate it up, but to make the ending animation a little bit more smooth, select all the last keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. Looking good. All right, let's also offset these layers so that the animations of the icons not come in at the same time. Perfect. Now the icons kind of just sit there waiting to come in. So we want to hide them in the beginning. So I'm going to take the rectangle tool and draw a shape. You want to change the fill to white and remove the stroke. We can now select all three icons and link them to that rectangle shape. So we can use the same layer as a track mat multiple times. And as we know, we can move around these track mat layers for better organization in the timeline. There's one last thing that we have to do, and that is to toggle motion blur for these icon layers. And of course, make sure that the global motion blur is enabled as well. And that gives us a very clean and modern intro animation for a weather forecast, entirely made using track mat. Thank you so much for watching. Now we've got more tutorials and the Adobe's Learn from the Pros playlist, so definitely check those out. And as always, stay creative.